All right, so we're doing um, injectors and um, the injector sleeves or injector cups on a Hino 268. And there's some special tools you gotta buy. And I'll show you what they are in a minute. But first of all, of course, you gotta get to the injectors um, and then you're gonna take off the rocker arm assembly. The reason why I'm doing the cups, let me see if we can see. Trying to see down in there. Looks like exhaust gas has been getting through and got a lot of uh, a lot of corrosion in there. And you don't want to put injectors back in there with it like that. So what I'm going to do first? There's an O-ring on top. Kind of point to show you. Pretty much right where the lip is, right there. There's an O-ring. So I'm going to take that out first, and then. We'll start with the process. First thing is this tap. Let's uh, align it straight with that, that injector cup. Allow you to <clears throat> tap some threads inside that injector cup. And you'll feel it once it gets all the way through. It'll just be easy. Go ahead and back it off and take it out. All right. Once you got that, we got another tool. This here, and it's a puller. So pretty much those threads that you just made, <clears throat> that'll go inside those threads. And this will pull it out. So you'll set it down on there and tighten it down until it's snug so this part actually sits on top of the head um, and there's about a three quarters of an inch um, gap from the injector cup to the top of the head so it'll pull it up that far we'll go ahead and tighten this down until it's nice and snug you got tight go ahead and get a wrench and make sure it's good and tight then you'll tighten down this bolt and then it has a, a wash I mean a, a bearing on the bo bottom half of it there we go so we'll, we'll hold this big part down here with a wrench and we'll turn this. So hold this part steady and turn this until that sleeve gets pulled out of there. That's it. That's the injector nozzle right there. And if you look down in there, you got coolant force going into your, your cylinder. So you'll need to get a vacuum. I use this uh, air brake bleeder right there to suck it all out. 